I wonder if I can sneak to the to the mining machine. That would be kind of nice. This I literally can't access this mole rat. Okay. We're just going to or pig rat. Sorry, pig rat. And there's one left over here. Punch. And punch. Dead. Beautiful. I didn't punch any groins. I apologize. Uh, we've we've killed so many rats at this point. Let me let's double check. Let's double check our kills. Uh, rat variants. We've we're almost at two hundred rat variant kills. That's pig rats, mole rats, and rat rats. Hope my heart doesn't act up while we're traveling. Yeah, same. Cassidy, same. So we're gonna start combat just to look around a little bit, see where the mining machine is. Uh, and it's not... Not here. Need to find the mining machine. That's it. We need to find the mining machine. Well, we should probably just come back here anyway, eventually, because there's a lot of XP here just wandering around. And once I get a power fist, I'll be able to do that. Um... Okay, this is... Oh, this is in town. This is where town is. Ooh. I can sneak through someone's basements. Dude, we're gonna do it. I have dynamite. Alright, so this is Escorty's place. Basement. Over here is... Uh, Lou's Malamute Saloon. <laughs> and... Uh, another Wanda Mingo, just Wander Mingoing around. Wander Mingo. Cassidy, how'd you get inside the wall? Oh god. Oh no. I didn't see this one. Uh. Um. <laughs> Four hit points. I'm running away. Uh. Cassidy, how'd you get in the? How'd you get in the wall, dude? Watamigo is critically hit for 41 hit points and sliding past the creature's defenses. Uh, no, I, sh I shouldn't. I should not. I'm just gonna run, run back. Cassidy, get out of the wall, man! You're not useful there. Yeah, we'll come back later. I forgot that there's Watamigos under the town, too. I think it would have been cool and wondering if even that was planned, if the Wanamingos would invade town at some point. I think that would be awesome. Um, Dr. Skill. Heal me. Okay. Well, that was good enough, I suppose. We'll read the skill book. There we go. And then we have the Mole Rat Mambo to do, which is going to be entertaining. For a little bit. It's like a little arena fight type thing. There's not really any major benefit to it. And I can't remember if a gambling skill actually benefits from it. But we're gonna do it anyway. Talk to this guy here. The mole rat mambo. I, I, I want to go in this building here first. This is probably the restroom. Always check the restrooms. Who are you? He says, howdy, stranger. I didn't check my karma either. 470. Oh, man, we're so close to 500. I don't know what else we can do to raise our karma. Maybe maybe Fred in the den, once we see him again, will be able to raise our karma. Dr. Open Heart Surgery left a comment saying, question for you, friend. Can you go into more detail on what a Logan's Loophole playthrough on New Vegas is and what it would entail? Super curious about it and would love to see you play. If you've spoken about it before, I apologize, new to the channel. No apology necessary. Uh, I haven't spoken about it much because it was just a uh, kind of a fleeting idea. Logan's Loophole is one of the traits you can choose in character creation in Fallout New Vegas that lets chems last twice as long drops your addiction rate to 0% and limits your level cap 
to 30. This is a massive trade-off, 20 level ups of skill points and perks that you won't be able to get. However, this limits leveled content to level 30 as well, so all the DLCs will be set at level 30 and won't increase at all because I won't be able to. I'm sure the playthrough would have some emphasis on helping out the cons and also crafting my own chems, but like I said, I haven't given this too much thought, it just sounds like a fun playthrough to run with a trait with those kinds of limitations. Maybe someday, Dr. Open Heart Surgery, thank you for the question. There is supposed to be an NPC that talks to me, that I can talk to, sorry, that I can talk to, to trigger the Mol Morat Mambo, but I think I've talked to pretty much everyone over here. That's strange. Maybe it, maybe it was like, the f it only works the first time you show up kind of thing. Sometimes quests glitch out like that. Not really missing too much, though. It's just watching two more rats fight each other. With that, I think we've done what we can in Redding. We've knocked out Redding pretty quickly. About two episodes of time worth. Let's steal from the citizens. Because that's, that's the right thing to do as sheriff. Dark Hour left a comment asking, Now I have to ask, what is your preferred magic playstyle slash deck color? I haven't played Magic the Gathering actually for a while, and I know I mentioned it in a previous episode that I that I have some magic cards. The decks that I have for, for casual play are primarily tribal decks. I have a green wolf deck, a red wolf deck, and a white and green human deck. And those are the ones that I play with probably the most. I do have a red white dwarf deck as well, because dwarfs rock and stone that I think was my kind of experimental deck that I was kind of messing around with trying to get it tuned to where I wanted it and I think that's around the time where I kind of fell off the magic player wagon but often when I tend to go back the first deck that I grab for is my green wolf deck because it is an extremely low cost high fun factor kind of deck and something I would call the iconic combo of this deck would be the young wolf with hunger the howl pack Two green mana and one combat can turn a 1-1 one, one into a 5-5, five, five, and it's fun every single time. So there, there's your answer. Thank you, Dark Hour, for the question. Okay. I think we're good to go. We're going to go go back to the den, hopefully have things set up to where we can say hi to Fred and get our car upgrade from Smitty in one fell swoop. That's the plan. Put that in my inventory just so I can do it immediately. And off we go. Quick little trip. Quick trip to the den. Or is it? Oh no. Oh, this was immediate. Oh no. You're critically hitting the right leg for 18 hit points, sending you flying and breaking your leg. <laughs> sure is good that I saved ahead of time, huh? Well, I'm crippled now. That's wonderful. Let's use one of these fancy super stim packs I just got. This is not going to end well. This fight is not going to end well. Look at how many thugs there are. I'm going back to my car. I have to. They're saying scram. Is this is one of the Morton brothers. Yeah. And he's dead. Uh, his, um, his thugs didn't attack me. They're just saying, Scram, what you doing in my hood? You ever had a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> Interesting. Well, we killed the Morton brother. Let's leave. My leg is also broken. Doesn't feel good having a broken leg. So, a little bit, a little bit more. Daytime, west side. Uh, all right, character window. Oh, my leg's not broken anymore. That's nice. For destroying your enemies without taking a scratch, you earn 130 XP. I lost some HP on our way because I was, I used the super stim pack out of panic. Wait a minute. Where's Fred? 
Where did Fred go? Fred, are you here? That kid stole something from me. He just ran off. Dang it. <laughs> Tubby! What'd your kids steal? Okay, probably nothing, nothing big. I'll take those stim packs though. Thanks. We got a comment from Wampa Stompa 1996. I like your name. It's very fun to say. Hi, Kato. I just wanted to say that I love your videos and I'm really enjoying your Fallout 2 playthrough so far. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, I hope you continue to, to enjoy it. They said, also, I have a question for you. Where would you like the next Fallout game to take place? I believe I've asked, answered this question before, either in like other Fallout playthroughs or something. Um, and I, just because of the area that I live in, I live in the Pacific Northwest, uh, Portland, Oregon, or Seattle, Washington, or like even Olympia, Washington would be cool. Any of those places I think would be neat, but just because I kind of am familiar with the area, I would love to see the areas I've been around and get the Fallout treatment. And th there was more to Wampa Stompa's comment saying, personally, I would like to see the next Fallout game take place in Texas or maybe a combination of Arizona and New Mexico. Uh, in the case of Texas, there was a Fallout game that took place in Texas, but nobody likes to talk about it. Fallout Brotherhood of Steel takes place in Texas. Um, and you can find highlights and a playthrough of it on my channel if you're really interested. But as for Arizona and New Mexico, I think those would be cool places. I mean, Arizona already gets talked about uh, through the NCR and stuff in Fallout New Vegas. Um, Arizona is also where Wasteland 2 takes place, and I believe Wasteland 1 as well. Um, those are the precursors of the Fallout series, uh, but more tactical focused. But yeah, I think that would be cool. Thanks so much for the comment. Walk back out. So let's see what happened to Frank. Or Fred. Fred, not Frank. So it's, it's, it's F name. <laughs> Hello? <gasps> hey, there you are, he says. I've been looking all over for you. Check out these threads. Looking very nice, Fred. He says, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks to you. I have four sets just like these. So you want it big after all? He says, I owe you a lot. You trusted me when I was down on my luck. As a small gesture of gratitude, I have something for you. Okay. He says, here. Fred gives you $2,000, five fusion cells, five energy cells, and a plasma grenade. He says, I hope it helps at least a little. Thank you very much, Fred. Wow. Okay. So when he said five, five and five of uh, energy cells and microfusion cells, he said it meant five stacks, not just five. <laughs> So, I have plenty of means to fuel my car again, which is lovely. So, Fallout does have some happy endings every once in a while. Fred, in Fred's case, if you give him money when you visit the den, and instead just, and instead of just, you know, threatening him for the money, uh, he will eventually pay you back. Generally, I think the timer is like around after you finish the stuff in Vault City and Gecko, then you come back and you can talk to Fred. I think that's where it's at. But now let's talk to Smitty and get this car part installed. I found this part for the car and I don't know what to do with it. Smitty says, well, now that's a fuel cell regulator. That'll give you better mileage per energy cell. I could put it in for you if you had, say, $750 for my trouble. That sounds like a deal, Smitty. Here's your part and the money. He says, there you go. Better new. Take it easy on her now. I will, Smitty. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. We are rolling in the dough right now. We have seven. Wait. Oh, yeah, because I spent money at Tubby's. So we still have a little over 7,000. That's right, isn't it? Did Fred just not give me money? I mean, that's fine. The amount in energy cells alone that he gave me is still really good. So. Um, we've done most of what we can in Redding, like I had said before. 
Uh, we are a little undergeared for the Raider Caves. Pretty undergeared, actually. Uh, what does... I don't... I can't remember if Mentats actually raise Charisma. Because I would love to raise Charisma enough to have two more Charisma points for a companion. I would like to do that at some point. So we can have three companions. One of them being a mutant, a certain mutant someone. But now, speaking of certain mutant someones, let's go to Broken Hills. Let's go see some some Unity Remnants, shall we? Unless we want to pay pay another visit to the Dunton Twins and get a Cat's Paw magazine. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, since we're here. Why not? It'll be quick. It'll be fast. We'll do a comment answering comment discussion thing while I'm doing that. Valentino Nuari Wiratama asked, does arm build really helps when finding heavily armored enemies? Uh, like someone in power armor. Yes. Yes, they do. Um, the power fist and the mega power fist are made specifically for punching through armored targets. And Big Cheese also replied to this question saying, as long as you aim for the eyes and have good crit perks to make sure they get hit for at least 300 damage. Yes, that can be a benefit as well. Um, just aiming for the eyes in general is a benefit. So go for a power fist or a mega power fist if you're going unarmed and you'll probably have an easier time going through and uh, dealing with those enclave patrols. There will still be that off chance that they get a lucky burst on you and you'll just explode. Like that's that's just the nature of the classic game. So save often. Thank you for the question, Valentino, as well as your reply, Big Cheese. Whoa. <gasps> oh my goodness. I, uh, you know what? I had no idea that you could look at the car and see how much power it has without going to the world map. This is the first time I figured this out. So if you go to your drop down on the car and hit look at it, it'll show you what percentage of power the car is at. Blown my mind. This is crazy. Okay, back in the car after saving. Should we go visit Arroyo? Show, our, show them our, uh, our sweet ride. Let's go to Arroyo, see how things are doing. Show them how important it is and fight some geckos. Why not? Why not? Get some vengeance and some gecko pelts while we're here. Groin! Groin punching gecko. Ruining its breathing ability. Then punching it in the eyes. Cassidy still has his shotgun. Wow. He didn't do an auto shot. I am surprised. Wow. He's actually being smart about it. Groin. Wow, it just knocks him over. And groin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Ow. Ow. I am so proud of you, Cassidy. Sparing your ammo like that. Maybe it's because of the enemies he's fighting. Maybe it does have a way of tracking if it's like extra weak enemies. That's nice. That's wonderful. Just repeatedly punching something in the groin as it's on the floor. That's the Kato way. <laughs> Until there's nothing left of them. Yes. And they're growing. There we go. Just just some just some casual wandering the wastes punching in the bits. That's how it works. Wow. Nice, Cassidy. That H and K cause. I swear. It is so good. I can't carry that much. Oh, yeah, because I'm carrying a crap ton of energy cells and microfusion cells. Let's put those in here really quick. That's a lot to carry. I know. I understand. And then the ammo. The plasma grenade's going to come in handy as just like an emergency. Oh, no. I'm going to die. And there's a cluster of enemies in front of me. I'm looking forward to using that. I'm looking forward to getting more plasma grenades, to be honest. 
That's one of the things in the, um, the, the nearly ultimate Fallout 2 guide or something like that, uh, made by a pretty prolific, prolific guide author. Like, it's a, it's a good reference point for anybody who's starting with the Fallout series. I could have some, uh, text on screen or something to show the, the actual name of, of the guide and the guide author. But it's shown in the, in the Fallout subreddit. The, the general Fallout subreddit, the, the Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 guides. Ooh. Special thanks to my Wasteland Legends, Sven and David Hoover, and thanks to the rest of my patrons on screen now. You can catch future episodes of this playthrough on Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10 a.m. Pacific. Thanks for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.